Hello and welcome to Duffield Meadows Primary School. My name is Faye Novak Lemmings and I am proud to be the head teacher of our school. I hope to be able to share with you uh, some of the information about our school and I hope it gives you a flavour of what our school would be like. We're so disappointed not to be able to invite you into our school so that you can see for yourself uh, the children at work, the classroom settings and our beautiful site. Our school motto is achieve and enjoy. And that is absolutely what we do here. High academic standards, a real focus on high quality teaching and learning, but a real sense of fun and enjoyment. Um, your children will love coming to school. And for me, if children enjoy coming to school, the rest is easy. Duffield Meadows, primary school not only enjoys a beautiful site with plenty of open space, it's also set in a fabulous village. It's one of the draws for me to our school. Um, I have been here 18 years, not all as head teacher, uh, but when I joined the school, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the school itself. I fell in love with its community. Um, you will find a really strong sense of community here. We have a fabulous governing body. They are uh, challenging yet supportive and always looking to move the school forwards. We are privileged to have one of the most hardworking PTFAs there is, always looking for great opportunities to raise money and support some really nice to have items in school. We have approximately 300 pupils on roll and they are split across classes from reception through to year six. In our junior department, we took the decision a couple of years ago to move to mixed classes. This was because we have a pupil number, admission number of 45, a class and a half. Therefore, we have three mixed three, four classes and three mixed five, six classes. Our infants are also dependent on numbers. Sometimes we might have a straight year group. Sometimes we might have a mixed. But our staff are very experienced and I cater for all of those, whether they whether the children need support or whether or not they need challenge and extending. Uh, our staff are very, very good at being able to cater for all pupils' needs. We have a long established teaching staff. Um, members of staff tend to stay. Uh, we have a relatively low turnover, which enables us to have great stability for our children. And we've invested in a new um, support staff structure to ensure that we reduce the amount of um, supply teachers and visitors coming into school. So when our children are covered for uh, PPA, planning, preparation and assessment time uh, or staff absence, then our children are more likely to have a member of staff teaching them that they know and are familiar with. And we think that's a real strength of our school. I am passionate about education. I absolutely love my job and therefore uh, I love to spend time with the children. Um, you will see me on the playground. You will see me joining in lessons and activities. Uh, any way that I can find to spend time with our pupils is time well spent because they are the reason we are in this job. Uh, and so you very visible head teacher uh, around and about uh, and always willing to put our children first. Unfortunately, one of the things that you won't get to experience um, through watching this video is that feeling of energy, that buzz as you walk in and out of our classrooms. Children who love learning, they are engaged, passionate about what they're doing and staff who deliver uh, outstanding lessons, full of energy. Um, and I can only speak of that. Um, but if you get an opportunity and you do know people who live in the village and perhaps have children who attend our school, please do ask them about their children's experiences of school. And I'm certain that you will really like what you hear. 
We believe very strongly in pupil voice. Our children are articulate, they are full of ideas, and they are an intricate part of being able to move our school forwards. Um, we have a school parliament. We used to be a school council and the children decided that they wanted to extend this provision. So we moved to a school parliament. Every class has two members of parliament and they meet regularly to discuss ideas that the children wish uh, to be debated. Some are taken forward and some are decided that they don't have any mileage and are uh, sort of left where they are. That's fed back to the classes. As well as part of the members of parliament, we also have breakaway groups, uh, ministers. So we have uh, the health and safety ministers. We have the friendship ministers and we ha have um, healthy eating ministers. They run the school tuck shop. So school voice um, is a big part of what we do at Meadows. Uh, children are consulted. They are a part of the process. They often have uh, a viewpoint that is so very relevant to our school, of course, and sometimes as adults, things that we might miss. So we work together in partnership, governors, parents, teaching staff um, and children. Like most schools, our children um, are in teams and our teams were simply colours. They were red, blue, yellow and green. Again, school parliament came to me and said, Mrs Novak Lemmings, we think our team system is great, but it's a little bit boring. Please, could we rebrand it, redesign it? And I said, absolutely, go for it. Uh, survey the school, come back with your ideas. And that's exactly what they did. So last year we moved to elements. So we are now fire, water, earth and air. And the children have brought on board a local designer and she is in the process of designing new logos, emblems, and they're going to be created into a piece of artwork that will be in school. So the children collect acorn points. Uh, our school emblem is an oak tree and therefore we have connected all of our award systems to that concept. We have what used to be star of the week is now squ squirrel of the week uh, and children work towards acorn points and attitude acorns. Our attitude acorns are a bank of objectives all are around developing really great attitudes. And so each half term, we work on a different attitude. More than just me, aim high, I can do it, thinking for myself. And the children, if they demonstrate these positive attitudes, then they can earn themselves uh, an attitude acorn and then they get to be squirrel of the week and we have wonderful afternoon of hot chocolate and biscuits as a reward, a fabulous uh, end to each week. The children also collect acorn points and they can collect those for great work. They can also collect them for great attitudes, manners, um, positive choices, and they collect those as part of their team. And again, each week there will be a winning team. The children love this and it is a great part of our school. We feel very strongly that we have a broad and balanced curriculum here at Meadows. So while striving for high academic standards, we do not cut corners on other subjects that children can really flourish in. Um, we are part of the Derbyshire Music Partnership and all of our year three and four children this year are learning to play the flute together. We also pride ourselves on our engagement with sport. We have a fantastic uh, P lead and members of staff who are really engaged with sport and physical education. Lots and lots of great extracurricular activities, lots for people to get involved in. Um, and we do particularly well in our cluster events. As part of our broad and balanced curriculum, we also uh, encourage trips, activities, adventures um, from our residential in year six all the way down to um, small school trips. 
Uh, we've done some fabulous things over the last couple of years. Uh, and obviously, as head teacher, it's very important that I attend these trips to support the children in their education. And we have been everywhere from Cabris World to iFly in Manchester, where all of our year three, four children did indoor skydiving. Absolutely fantastic. We've been to Blists Hill. We have been all over the place. Chatsworth for our very youngest children, going to visit the farm there. Uh, we have some wonderful, wonderful experiences. We also have great visitors into schools, whether they are uh, theatre companies. Um, we also have the Explorer Dome in, where we got to go inside an inflatable dome uh, and experience different environments. We've also had them in for a space exploration as well. So great, great opportunities really bring a richness to our curriculum delivery. We have the most beautiful outside space, as you can see. It's not all ours. Actually, a uh, majority of the field is Eccles Bournes. We share it and we are able to use it when they're not down using it themselves. But we do enjoy uh, using the whole of this field uh, during summer and winter through all the seasons um, and it would be criminal not to. You'll notice as well, just behind me, we have what we call our nature reserve and we are a forest school. So we do have two forest school practitioners in our infant department. Uh, they've got the relevant qualifications and our children benefit from being able to go out and participate in forest schools. If you don't know about forest schools, uh, it's, char uh, it's child-led learning through the outdoors. Uh, children can go and they can explore. They build on skills such as um, confidence, self-esteem, uh, problem solving, investigation. It's absolutely fantastic. And our children uh, get togged up in their outdoor wear and go and enjoy the outdoors. Our school benefits from having a kitchen on site and we buy into Derbyshire County Council catering services. Therefore, every day children have an opportunity for a hot meal. In fact, uh, a really good range of meals to choose from. The children can choose every morning what it is they'd like. Of course, our infants are given some support by parents uh, and they can choose in advance. But on a day, um, a child may choose to be a dinner or a sandwich. Uh, we can offer hot meals, um, a main meat meal, uh, a vegetarian meal, jacket potatoes with tuna, jacket potatoes with cheese and in the summer the children can also choose a sandwich platter and we are very fortunate that in the summer when the weather's great our children can picnic outside. We understand how um, nerve-wracking it can be sending your first child to school uh, and we don't underestimate that and uh, we are here to support you through that process and your children of course. What we do find of course is that children are more than ready to come to school and they love the experience. Homework. Love it or loathe it of course, there is an expectation that homework is uh, a part of what we do. Our view is that homework helps children to develop really positive routines and that helps as part of their transition to secondary school. Being organised, being able to meet deadlines, really, really important. So we mix our homework um, to try to find a happy medium. We do have some weekly homework such as reading, learning spellings, learning maths, basic number, um, number bonds, etc. Um, we also have some creative homework. So uh, topics that children can choose to do. Um, they can choose from a, a wide selection. Uh, they're often practical. The children love them uh, and the, the finished products are fabulous and really enhance our curriculum. 
We also do showcases where parents can come in and see what their children have been learning through their topic. These are a great opportunity for hearing about learning through your own children. Uh, they are so proud to show you their work, uh, everything they've made and everything they've done with their topic. These are great experiences. Thank you for watching our video. Once again, I'm sorry that I cannot welcome you in through our doors and take you round our school myself. Uh, hopefully, if things change, then we will be able to uh, book you in for appointments. But unfortunately, as it stands at the moment, um, this is as good as it gets. But if you do have any questions that haven't been answered through this video, please do drop us an email at inquiries at duffieldmeadows.derbyshire dot sch dot uk and that contact detail can be found on our school website uh, and just drop us an email with your questions we will endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching take care <laughs>